What are your thoughts on the royal family? Not a fan. Not a fan? No. Any particular reason? Waste of taxpayers' money that could be going to better things. So basically, yeah, man's finally back out here yeah, on the streets and we're back to the public interviews. Obviously, yeah, we're going to start off a bit more, you know, light-hearted. Well, it's not even light-hearted. Just controversial topic, you know, get the, you know, feeling back in before we start asking people for fights. So comment down below where, which cities you'd like to see me go to and ask different questions. But today, we're going to be asking the public what are their thoughts on the royal family. Obviously, with the whole drama, you know, big up Prince Archie, my jigger, out there. And yeah, there's a lot of pigeons. I've missed Newcastle, you know. But yeah, guys, um, you know what to do. Like, comment, and make sure you subscribe. Well, hopefully, we can hit this 50. 50,000 followers real soon. I appreciate the support and let's get it. What are your thoughts on the royal family? Cons. Yeah. Even Queen Lizzie? Yeah, even Liz. Why? Especially Liz. Why? Like, fuck Prince Andrew as well. Especially <laughs> Prince Andrew. So basically, yeah, I'm here with Kev. Kev, right. Kev, what are your thoughts on the royal family? Uh, love the royal family, but can't stand Meghan Markle and uh, in the. Uh, a husband, a husband whose name I forget. Oh, Prince, Harry. Prince Harry. Yeah. yeah. All right, why don't you like them in particular? Just think, I just think the way they've they've treated the Queen mm. uh, in this particular bad time is is shocking, and I think most people of my age group feel exactly the same. All right. So do you think they should have handled it differently? Uh, I haven't got a problem with them leading their own lives, but I think they've uh, they've done what's best for them financially and haven't taken into uh, account the thoughts of that family uh, and I think in particular she's been particularly manipulative. Alright, so you think this is all a big cash grab? Uh, you or? Well, I, I'm not too sure it's a big cash grab because obviously there was lots of money in the royal family for them but uh, but I just think uh, they've put their own commercial uh, and personal interests ahead of the royal family and my own view is that, uh, that, that Harry will end up uh, back, back in the UK. And Who's your favourite royal? Who's my favourite royal? Oh, definitely the Queen. Yes, well, Lizzie, it? Definitely the Queen. Right. right, so basically, yeah, I'm here with Matthew. Matthew, right. Matthew, what are your thoughts on the royal family? Um, <laughs> they are in a very difficult situation at the moment, I think, personally. Nice. Yeah, so I've got a lot of uh, respect for them, but I think they need to maybe modernise a little bit to what's going on in the world. All right, see, so who's your favourite royal? The Queen. The Queen, yes, well, yes. Lizzie. All right. So what are your thoughts on, like, the whole Meghan and Harry thing? What do you think should be done? Should they ignore it, respond? What are your thoughts? They shouldn't ignore it. Um, how they respond, I think you should think carefully how they respond. And it might take a little bit of time to decide what to do. Um, I think they've been, they have been a little bit blindsided by the interview. I think they maybe need a little bit more time to think about it. But I think, as the Queen has said herself, maybe behind closed doors, yeah. try and sort out a little bit. Um, but they certainly should respond, yes. Right. Basically, yeah, I'm here with... Wayne Gibson. Wayne, right. Wayne, what are your thoughts on the royal family? No. I'm anti-royalist. Anti-royalist? The only royal family we had was Diana, Princess Diana, who stood up for herself and for the world, and spoke for the world, and told the royals how she thought. Mm -hmm. was, when she was killed, there was red corn involved. You've never heard nothing more about the red corn. Can it be anybody else, me and you, Tom Dick or Harry, the call would be found. Mm. But because of the royal family, no, no, no. Yeah. I'm anti royal. I will. I see. So, do you not have a favourite royal or is it Diana? It was Diana. Diana, oh, I see. Alright, so what about the whole situation with Meghan and Harry? How do you think that's. Any opinions on that? Well, yes, the racists, because they're half fucking German themselves. Mm. They are actually half German. And because they're around and they've got money, because what them say goes, no. No, this is the real world out here. Then we've never struggled for a school of meals, wash the dishes, electric gas. No, never struggled. This is the people, this is the real world. Mm. Shane, what are your thoughts on the royal family? Um, it's a difficult one, especially at the moment. Yeah. Well, what were the whole situation thoughts? Um, I definitely think, regarding what Megan said, mm -hmm. I don't think, I feel like it's really other people don't get the right to say how she feels if she felt that way mm -hmm. like i think it's disgusting right, right. and yourself pretty similar like it's hard one isn't it like you don't really know yeah, yeah. not that it's like picking sides or anything but yeah i think i do like agree with like what megan said all right see and who's your favorite royal harry harry <laughs> harry, harry i'd say yeah i quite liked margaret she's not alive but i did like margaret right. what are your thoughts on the royal family not a fan not a fan no any particular reason? Waste of taxpayers' money that could be going to better things. 
All right, so do you have a favorite royal? No. What are your thoughts on the royal family? Uh, I don't really think about the royal family. They're just there. They, like, they think they're in charge and all that. They're just there? Yeah, just there. Yeah. I think Meghan's fit. So basically, yeah, you heard it here first. That's what they probably think on the whole royal situation. Personally, um, I feel like, you know, it's just another bit of family drama. You know, we have them, I have them. Not any to me, just obviously because they're roy royal E and obviously they represent, obviously, the Britain, United Kingdom, I think, as well. But not too sure, I don't want to say. But me, my favourite royal, obviously, is War Queen Lizzie. Like, my love for Queen Lizzie is a bit mad. Obviously, I love our Queen. I love this country. I love, like, Newcastle. I'm very patriotic. I think that's a word. Maybe that's clouding my judgement on this case. But, hey, Queen Lizzie, we love you. And also, on Meghan's side, obviously, we've got to take what she said seriously and not be like peers and you know be inconsiderate to what she said but obviously it's just one of them love war lizzie hey megan tell archie what's up that's my jigger you know what i'm saying love for that gang